Good morning, Year 11. I'm here at school today, and it's certainly a very strange place to be at the moment. Today should be a day of celebration. The leavers assembly, shirt signing, photographs, laughter, tears, reminiscing, and celebrating in weird and wonderful ways. The school feels very empty, and it is very quiet without you all. So whilst we can't all be here together today, there are some things that I'd like to share with you to commemorate your tremendous five years here at The Grange. From the moment that you joined, we knew that you were really special and you've not disappointed us at all since you joined us. I vividly recall you back in year seven with the perfect uniform, not one shirt untucked. You were bright eyed and you were so dinky. And it may feel to you like your time here has gone on and on and it feels like you've been here forever. But for me, it really has passed in the blink of an eye. You are a cohort of students with so much talent, creativity, drive, kindness and compassion. You all take away your own individual stories of successes from your time with us. But for me, you've achieved momentous things. You are a year group that has had the highest attendance and you are on track to achieve our record breaking results. But for me and for you, it's so much more than just the number and the data. It's about the journey of your five years here, even more years for those of you that were in our primary. It's about the highs, the lows, the friendships that you've made, the things that you've learnt, the laughter that we've shared and the occasional breakdown in the pastoral office. And that's just me, Mrs Hunt and Miss Cooney. It's the experiences that you've had, the trips, bushcraft, Alton Towers, sports days, the house events, the charity and the music events. And we've been incredibly proud of you, representing our school both in the community, at the Brindley, at other schools, and here on our own stage at the Grange. It's the bake sales that you've organised and participated in, and a wealth of other experiences. And then there's been some tough times in school. There's been times when you've all struggled with low points. There's been fallouts, there's been squabbles, there'll have been disappointments, including what has happened this summer when you've not been able to sit your GCSEs in the traditional sense and been able to have your prom and your leavers assembly. But these experiences are part of your individual journey and it will make you into the strong and successful young women and men that you are becoming as you move on to your next steps at college and with your apprenticeships. During your time here, I've had the pleasure of teaching most of you and I mean it when I say you've been absolutely exceptional. As a staff body, we are incredibly proud of everything that you've achieved and we would love nothing more to have you all here in person to say goodbye today. But unfortunately, COVID has gotten in the way of that and you are our lockdown leavers. But here are some familiar faces that we could not let today pass without saying goodbye. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew all the planes we flew Good things we've been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you out another path i know we love to hit the road and laugh but something told me that it wouldn't last had to switch up look at things different see the bigger picture those were the days hard work forever pays now i see you in a better place see you in a better place ah uh, how can we not talk about family when family's all that we got everything i would do you were standing there by my side and now you go be with me for the last ride Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, a long way. from where we began. You no, know, we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I'll tell you. When I see you. Watch your way and the vibe is feeling stronger with small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be lost. year 11 hope you're well just wanted to say massive well done on completing your five years at the grange and good luck for the future 
you have been a fantastic year group to be a part of and I really will miss you a lot. We hope to hear from you soon, hear about all your, what you've been up to and what your plans are for the future. Okay, good luck, see you soon. Hello Year 11, hope you're staying safe and enjoying your time in lockdown, making the most of it, maybe learning a new skill, new hobby, something like that. You might always be remembered as the kids that went through lockdown as the ones who had to come through that, but we'll always remember you as something more than that. You've provided us with some absolutely fantastic memories, myself included, even though I've just joined, I only joined year 11 team late on, still got tons of memories that I've come away with. And I have no doubt that you will go on to make more fantastic memories wherever you end up being. So stay safe, stay wonderful, and we hope to see you soon. Bye. I 11 MCM, um, dead sad you're all going really had a wonderful time with you um, I remember when I first took over the class from Miss Allen and I walked in to introduce myself and half of you looked like I was the mad axeman you looked terrified but I hope you've all enjoyed being with our little family um, gonna miss you loads you've all really done well Neve, stop acting like a drama queen Aiden, brush your hair. I've got a little something for you all, and I've wrote uh, cards out to you. So I'll be giving you them at our award ceremony. But take care over the summer, enjoy yourselves, and I hope you all achieve what you deserve. You've done really well. Um, I won't half miss you, but take care. Bye for now. Hi, 11WLM. I hope you are all okay. Um, the rest of year 11 as well, in fact. Um, just a quick video message, really, uh, to wish you all good luck. Um, remember that it isn't really about luck, it's about how hard you try. So fight every day. Make sure that you are doing your best. You're living every moment to the maximum because you only have one chance. Um, don't let those chances slip away. Make sure that you do everything you can. Uh, make the most of every single day, uh, especially with how, how knowing now how this, this year's ended. Um, it wasn't the end that any of us wanted to see, really, um, but it happened and it will make us stronger uh, because we can learn from this. I hope you've all been keeping your diaries. Remember, you've been writing history, um, which is really important. Uh, and I think the final message is, is, is again, live every single day as, as, as it is the most important. Remember, yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. Today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Good morning, Year 11. Firstly, I hope you and your families are safe and well during this very difficult time. I wanted to send you a short message to say how disappointed I am. And we all are that you didn't get to finish the year the way that you, your families or us would have wanted. I know how incredibly disappointed you are about exams and prom. Let me start with exams. I am so proud of how hard you worked and how well you prepared for your exams. Whatever the outcome, you could be proud of what you have achieved over your time here. And as I have always said, there is no substitute for hard work and the resilience you have shown during this situation will have prepared you well for the next stage. Please rest assured your teachers worked through your mock grades, classwork and homework to ensure we have been fair and accurate and reflect your ability. I would really like to thank Miss Bate who has worked closely with your future colleges to ensure they know as much about you as possible and to ensure your transition is smooth. I really want to acknowledge how upset you are about missing out on your prom. As I said in my last letter, I am committed to bringing you back together to say a proper goodbye, but only when it is safe to do so. I didn't want to commit to a further date just in case this wasn't possible either. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the staff for their support and dedication to you. Miss Bate and her team of tutors and the pastoral team that looked after you so well. I know how much you will miss these people. I want to thank your parents and carers that have been very supportive during my short time here and I thank them on your behalf for their support of you. Finally, thank you to our class of 2020. This isn't goodbye, it's farewell for now. And we will see you on results day and I hope by then we will have some more clarity on when we can formally say goodbye. There are so many more things I want to say, but 
but I will leave these until we're all back together. Until then, keep safe and look after yourselves. Good luck, Year 11. Whilst this is most certainly not the goodbye that we anticipated, it's more of a farewell for now. I know you're incredibly disappointed about prom, the premature end to Year 11, and you feel that like, like there's a gap where your exams, your prom, your leave assembly and your final day should be. We too want to celebrate your five years here, your growth, your maturity, your achievements, and how you've been the most tremendous bunch to work with. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our families, your parents and your carers. Thank you so much for supporting our events, for attending our parents' evenings, our Achieve Together evenings, and always been at the end of an email or a phone. We really appreciate it. Finally, Year 11, I would like to thank you all. Thank you so much for your drive, your hard work, the laughter, the challenges, and for being part of our class of 2020, our lockdown leavers. Thank you to our prefects, head boy, head girl, and our deputy head boy and head girl. Thank you for your contribution to our school community. Thank you so much, Year 11, from the bottom of my heart, for being the most fantastic cohort and for the impact that you've had in our school. We're here for you and we care for you. Do not underestimate your abilities. Work hard, be kind. You are a cohort of individuals who will make the world a better place. We are proud of you, we're excited for your future, and we wish you the very best of luck. So for now, until we are reunited and we can celebrate your successes, stay safe and take care. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come along.